Hello there everyone, I'm here to show y'all a quick demonstration on how to get ice cream sandwich on your Samsung Infuse. And I'm just going to show some features, just just a few of them. Alright, so uh, you can actually go from Froyo or Gingerbread to this ROM. So like, see, see here's the Samsung Infuse. It doesn't really matter whether you got Froyo or Gingerbread. You can, uh, you can do either or, you can go straight from gingerbread or froyo to this ROM which is ice cream sandwich um, I'm just simply here to demonstrate uh, how to do it I'm not taking any credit from the developers uh, and I'm, and like I said just I'm just here to demonstrate how to do it so yeah let's get started um, make sure you take out your SD card that way that way all your memory won't be lost well all the memory on your SD card actually okay so I have made I have I haven't made a video on how to get Clockwork Mod which you will need but there are a few other videos from other people on YouTube that you can that can teach you how to get it so all right so and also you will you will need to be rooted all right so it it's it's a few it's it's a lot of steps actually but it's kind of worth it so yeah all right so first of all let's go to the let's go to the website here it is damn all right, it's a uh, XDA developers. I will have the link. I will have it, in, have it on YouTube, on the description. All right, so you scroll down, scroll down all the way to right here. See, there's a jelly bean, and then there's the ice cream. We're doing the ice cream, so don't worry. Later, later this week, I'll have a jelly bean uh, update. So, uh, so yeah. First of all, you need to download it. You know, you you click, you download a. Uh, Infantanium, you download it to. I download it to my web, uh, my desktop. That be that way it'll be easier. But I'm not gonna download it again. So you just click this, and it should sh take you to the download. All right, and uh, do not, do not, uh, do not unzip the, do not unzip the file, which is this one right here. Where is it at? Infantanium. Um, there you go. Do not unzip it. Don't unzip it. All right. So um, hold on a second. All right. So, first of all, you need a, you need your USB cable. You need to plug it in. All right. I'm not gonna do it, but all right, fine. I'll give you a quick demonstration. I'll plug it in. All right. Turn on USB storage. All right. There you go. Set your phone down. Let me do it like this. Go to your computer. All right. And just. See, I already have it in here. It's right here, Infantanium, or whatever it's called. Uh, the folder, just simply drag it, drag it in there. I'm not going to do it. Just wait till it downloads completely to your internal, internal memory, and then you're gonna go to, you're gonna go on recovery mode. All right. So you, so you turn off USB storage, take it off, blah blah blah. You know. All right. So. Just turn, just turn it off. Just power off. All right, and we're gonna go to recovery. So to get to recovery mode, you're actually gonna have to hold these, the two side buttons. The let me, let me close this laptop. The oh man, sorry about that. The, you need to hold the volume buttons, both of them together, same time, and the power button at the same time. So it's gonna be. Power button, uh, volume buttons, then power button. As soon as the lower comes up, power button release, then volume release buttons. All right, so now you should be in recovery mode. All right, um, if you have the clockwork mod, it should look different from this. It should be an older version, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you all through all the steps. It should look around the same thing, but this is an updated version. So you would have to go to first step. Let me think about it. All right, so you would have to wipe data. Let me focus. All right, you wipe data, you click it. Yes, delete. I'm not gonna do none of that because mine's already set up. All right. So next, you will delete. Um, you will go to wipe cache partition. You put yes, wipe cache. Let me see. So let me focus. I want y'all to get everything nice and clear. All right, go back, and then you would have to go to advance. Let me see if that's correct. Yes, that's correct. Um, go to wipe. Dalvik cache. Go to yes. Click it. 
let all that let let it do its let us do its thing after you finish just do everything I'm showing y'all step by step all right and then next would be uh would be install zip from SD card where is that at all right install zip from SD card you would go to choose zip from SD card and then you would go to Intanium is that correct yes you would choose oh sorry about that sorry let me go back so you go choose zip from SD card, go to Infantanium, and just focus on that so you can see it clearly. Alright, you click it and then you would install the ROM. Alright, let me go back. So <coughs> you choose the ROM, let it install, do its thing. After installing is complete, um, go to reboot system. Alright, so you would click reboot system and so it would be like this and right now as soon as possible just click take off your battery just pop it out you know before it reboots completely and then uh... <clears throat> and then you're gonna go back you try to remove the battery as quick as possible right uh... so let me let me just let me do it right now you would just go like that before like you know way earlier so like at the time i told you the first time you would have to take the battery out and then we would have to go back into recovery mode <clears throat> all right so remember you have to hold the volume both volume buttons and then you have to go to hold the power button all right release the power all right release the volume <clears throat> and then uh, let's wait till it comes all right so now you should have this this type of this what is it this CM Clockwork Mod uh, Base Recovery version 6.0.1.0. All right, so you should have this after you remove the battery and you went back to recovery mode. <clears throat> All right, so now we would have to go to mounts, go down to mounts, and you would click to unmount. All right, but since I've already done it, I'm not gonna do it again. So you would right here, you would click. This this what should happen. Click to unmount. All right, and then you would go back, but I'm not gonna do that. So you you, you leave it like that and go back. <clears throat> and then uh, you would select. You would uh have to install the ROM again. You would go to um, install from SD. Let me let me focus again. Install from SD card. Where's it at? Oh, sorry about that. Install from SD card. And then you would choose a uh, uh, choose zip. And then you would go back to Infantanium. And then you would install it again. All right. <clears throat> so as soon as it would finish installing, you know, let it do its thing. Uh, after it's complete, select reboot and reboot your phone. So you would go back <clears throat> and then go to reboot system now. All right. So that should be it. It was it would start like this Galaxy S what is that Cyanogen I don't know how to say that so yeah it'd be there and then um there you go ice cream sandwich that's nice that's nice all right I'll be right back after finish uh, rebooting.